Hey guys, it's Michael with Central Alps, and today we are looking at a 2007 to halfway 18 uh, Jeep Wrangler. And we are installing some Smittybelt XRC front armor, cladding, and rear armor. It's, it's a relatively easy process, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, you do have to take off your fender flares and your front fenders. Um, if you decide to go with your factory cowl, you'll have to mount that back onto the fender. Um, you, you do have to drill 52 holes into your body, so that's a little intimidating. On the rear, you just rip off your rear fender and, and put the armor on. And so we have two tips for you. The first one is to go out and get a transfer punch set. And what this does is you, you have your hole in the armor, in the cladding that you're supposed to mark, and it fills the hole perfectly and it punches your hole in the center. Most people use just a regular punch and, and that allows for the mark to be off center and not necessarily directly in the middle. The second tip that we have is get a nut cert tool. Smitty Belt sells one. Uh, you can also get some off-brand ones from your local hardware store or on Amazon. Doesn't really matter which brand you go with, but make sure you get this. Smitty Belt says that you can install the armor without the nut cert tool, and that's true. But using using a uh, bolt in the bar that Smitty Belt provides, it just does not work very well. The third tip is get some um, clamps. If you go to Harbor Crate, they sell these, these quick uh, open and closing clamps. Get these so that you can clamp your cladding on and then secure it. And clamp the cladding on and secure it so it stays there whenever you're marking your holes. That's the third tip. The fourth tip is measure seven, eight, nine, ten times. Make sure everything's lined up perfectly before you mark your hole. And then before you drill, make sure everything's right. Um, your fifth and final tip, your rear armor up on the top, there are, there are two or three holes um, that it's hard to get the transfer punch in there and it's hard to um, mark where that hole goes. So get spray paint, spray some spray paint in there and then mark your holes from the spray paint. It's still not gonna be perfectly um, set where your holes are supposed to go. So you need to pull your armor off and either drill out those holes or cut out those holes to make them a little bit bigger to give you some more wiggle room on those rear uh, corner guards. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, shoot us an email, or call or text us at 833-268-2577. Thanks.